This is going to be a whole new nightmare. Hi everyone, it's me Gaming Do, and at long last, we are back to my reviews of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise now that it is October again. And um, I was intending to do these videos in the earlier half of October, which still technically is because it's the 14th, but... Um, yeah, the reason why this is a little bit later than intended is because I was really busy doing plush videos the first little bit of the month, and then later on this week, I just got busy right after that. But now, for the next three days, we're going to be freaking finishing this Nightmare on Elm Street series review. We only have Freddy vs. Jason and the remake after this. But now, we have Wes Craven's New Nightmare, which in my personal opinion, is in my top three. I love this film. I don't quite like it to the level of Dream Warriors or the original, but it's still a really, really good movie. And the Nightmare films involving Wes Craven are generally my favorites. So... Let's start off with some of the positives. Just the concept that the universe in this film is not the real Nightmare universe. And it's actually the universe of all the actors. Like Robert Englund, Heather Langenkamp, and all of them. And John Saxton, but... I really like that meta-ness to it. It kind of gives a hint to Scream, which... Wes Craven directed two years later in 1996. Um, I really love that kind of meta feel to the movie. What I also love is just them bringing back Brutal Freddy. I despised the previous Nightmare film before this, Freddy's Dead. But I love that this is a return to form for Scary Freddy. And honestly... This is the scariest he's been probably since Freddy's Revenge. All the way back in 1985. So it's been nine years since Freddy has been this scary. Like his kills are legitimately brutal. And I'll get into a little bit of my negatives with one of those kills. But the kills in general in this movie are pretty good. They're not my favorite kills in the franchise, but they're pretty good. Um, but bringing back scary, brutal Freddy is just awesome. Um, third is that, I forgot if his name was Nico or Miko Hughes. Um, he's the kid from Pet Cemetery, the little kid from the original Pet Cemetery. Um, he gave a pretty good performance in this film. He also played, uh, the little kid in Kindergarten Cop. He gave a pretty good performance in this film. And, um, kind of seemed like he was kind of possessed, honestly. Um, that's my interpretation of it. Um, pretty much all of the actors gave a very good performance in this film. Robert England as himself. They don't put it that he played Freddy, but let's face it. He did play Freddy in this film. Um, Heather Langenkamp was awesome as herself. John Saxton was awesome as himself. Wes Craven was awesome as himself. Or himself. What the? Anywho, um, I can't speak today. Um... Yeah, just kind of going back to the meta-ness and the fact that this is in the real world. That's my absolute favorite part of this film. I love the concept of this film. And one or two out of three kills in this film are really good. That would be sort of the metal hand kill and the kill in the truck. With uh, Heather's um, husband. I forgot his name. I know I should have watched this film before reviewing this. But I know enough to give the basic gist of it. Um, 
His kill was very cool. And I just like the tone of this film. This tone has a very scary tone besides Freddy. Like, it's very creepy and very weird and has sort of a fairy tale tone to it with uh, kind of referencing Hansel and Gretel, which I really like that touch. I really like this movie, but I do have one problem with it. That one problem is the kill of uh, the kid's babysitter. That kill just reminded me way too much of Tina's kill. And while in the scheme of things it's pretty cool, I, I don't like how much it copies Tina's kill. And just in general, some of the scenes in this movie feel a little too much like the original Nightmare on Elm Street. But that's not a really, really big complaint because that's kind of what I think they were trying to go for. And yeah, I know this review was kind of short, but that's really all I got to say about Wes Craven's new nightmare, except for the fact that I give this film an A-. minus. Wes Craven's new nightmare is one of the best films in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, in my opinion. And no Nightmare film after this got nearly as good. You'll see my review for Freddy vs. Jason tomorrow. And then on Saturday, we will end my Nightmare on Elm Street franchise reviews with the remake. And next week, I'm going to give you a little hint. We're going to be reviewing the first three films of a horror franchise. And I'll give you a hint. He just got a TV show this week. Wink, wink. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my review of Wes Craven's new Nightmare. And that's about it. Gaming Do here. See you later. Bye.